So this is a custom composite that I made out of a cardboard, the hydraulic press, and um, super glue. So anyways, you can hear how stiff it is when I flick it, and it's really thin. So we're going to see how fast this can go before it explodes, which we could finally do with this air bearing right here because we can reach such high speeds. Um, it'll be really interesting to see at what speed this, this little disc explodes. Um, and we can also test other materials. And the best thing about, the biggest thing you want to remember about high speed devices is the is the weight of the material is extremely important. If you have a high strength disc that is really heavy, it doesn't mean it's going to be stronger for its weight or stronger for this application because it's the centrifugal force that counts. So I'm just going to give it a little run up here. Turn on the air to the air bearings. And uh, you can, you notice when I give it a little spin by the hand, it just wants to keep going and going and going and going. Um, so it's extremely frictionless. Extremely frictionless. Now, there is going to be some vibration in here because I haven't balanced the rotor yet. But I'm going to give a little, a little, uh, just for fun here, a little preview of, of this test for you guys um, so you can see how I'm going to spin it up. So it's already going 11,000 RPM and I'm on a extremely small Extremely small nozzle here and very low pressure. So I'm gonna try to get this in the frame as good as I can. Just want to make sure the meter is fine. I can't take it up too much higher without having a blast shield up uh, because even though that's a really strong composite I gotta be safe so there's the air bearings and it's going 18,000, 17,000, 16,000 so what I'm gonna do here basically is test the air bearings now the faster that the disc goes, the more centrifugal force pulls on the disc. So what I want to do is I want to get it going so fast that this thing ex that the disc explodes and then I can see what periphery velocity makes the uh, disc explode. Uh, testing its strength. So that's kind of what I was trying to say. Okay, so I'll give a little description of what's going on here. We've got the air bearings connected to the turbine. Is it recording? And there's something interesting that happens with with the air bearings on the turbine. Um, when this when the rotor gets up to speed, it centers itself. It centers itself right in the middle of the turbine, and it no longer has to sit on the little point over here. Hopefully you can see that. Can you see that? Um, and you can see all of the shaft. I'm checking if we could see the RPM meter. Now, oh, you can see you, the you, RPM meter pretty good, I think. Yeah, yeah, there's not any glare. I just need to angle it down because it right. couldn't. All right, so what we're going to do here is do a little bit more balancing and test the water in the air bearings.
Not sure how much better it'll be, but I'm assuming that once we reach a certain RPM, the water will start vaporizing. It will start producing a more efficient air bearing. And as you can see here, we've got our air coming in for our bearings. And we've got a little bit of water in there. Now that's going to bubble through and make water vapor, of course. Um, but yeah, we, we just want to, we, we got it about 32,000 last time. And I think we're going to be able to get up to a higher RPM and balance it at the same time. Um, yeah, so uh, here we go. I'll just get to work and let's see how everything goes on the way. Close the air valve. <laughs> I need the water valve. There we go. So we're just gonna probably take it to pretty close to the max RPM on this. We got only 34,000 last time. So this is gonna be very difficult to read. 17, 18, it seems quieter, doesn't it? 20, a little, 21, 22. 23, 24, 25, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, hey that's looking way better, 29, 30, is this open all the way? Oh wow, oh, no, okay, 31, almost? So I'm going to put more water in the air bearings. Okay. Did you like have the tube pre-filled with water? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Well, so 36 was the highest we got. Yeah, that's not much faster it's than last time. Fast. Yeah, it's not very fast. <laughs> it's not very, no, it's not much faster <clears throat> than last time, but it's super fast compared to, say, a car or something. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, super fast compared to a car, for sure. So I'm going to add a little bit more water. should probably stop the video now. Oh, yeah. I'm going to...
throwing 35,000 just fine. Okay, so we got a much higher RPM that last test that we did. And what I'm going to do is just do some balancing, try to get this thing to make less noise at certain RPMs. And we'll be able to confirm that with the latest videos that we've done. Um, so I, I need to make sure that I can navigate around everything. Which means changing the angle of the dangle. Changing the angle of the dangle of the dangle. Make sure we can see everything we can. We can see everything. Changing the angle of the dangle, the angle of the dangle. And we'll stick this thing on to see the RPM. After we've got the RPM, we will sing another song. Just kidding, it's almost done. Is the angle of the dangle, it's the angle of the banger. It's the angle of the dangle, you see. And we shall change the angle of the dangle. We shall change the angle of the dangle. Please be kind to the ones that want to change the angle of the dangle. Smashed into it? Yeah. Straight in my force. Sucks. Oh, oh 
man. Close the fucking door? I know, that's why I said that sucks. Close the door. I thought I closed it, I think it bounced back though. Well, it bounced back. Change the angle. 